feet. So, sir, we are live on YouTube as well. So, I think we still have a minute and then we'll start. So, I'll just... So, sir, Suruchi, ma'am, from the school will be joining us. I've already... Just mm. updated her. <clears throat> Hi, ma'am, are you there? Yes, uh, good evening, Chika, ma'am. I'm here. I can uh, we can see you. you and I can watch it. Thank you so much. Ma'am, can you just? Yeah, uh, there is see some you. network problem. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, Okay, sir, I think we should start till that time she'll uh, do. Okay, a very good after, uh, good morning to Narain, sir, because he's in US and good evening to all the students of BCM school. I, Shikha Sood, assistant, I'm working as assistant director outreach team of Chulini University. I welcome you all to Ideas That Matters series, webinar series which we host every day in one school. Sometimes we do session for teachers, sometimes we are doing it for students, and sometimes we are doing for parents. So today we have with us Mr. Narain, who is, um, you know, his, uh, what he, his complete profile he's gonna share with you in one slide, but I will share what I, uh, I've been doing webinars with him almost. I think we have done 10 webinars. Today is our 10th webinar. So he is a scientist by profession. Am I right, sir? Yes. Okay. Can you imagine a scientist as a musician? Yes, he is. Okay. Can you think a person can be a scientist, he can be a musician, and even an artist? I have seen his paintings. I don't know today he's going to show you or not, but he's an excellent artist. So according to me, he's a person, he is a learner. What I've always seen when he talks to students, he talks about learning. He says, for me, at this age, whatever I have achieved in my life, I don't stop there. I'm learning. Whatever I love to learn, I love that. Whether it is music or it is art, or it is anything else. And students, what I like with him is, you know, uh, he did a webinar where he was talking to students and he was teaching them science, but through painting. He related the painting with science and he made it so interesting for students. So what he does is that he totally believes what new education policy is talking today, that all the fields, whatever the stream you're studying, they all are interrelated. You cannot just keep yourself open to just one field. So maybe in your profession, you start with one thing, but definitely your hobby at any point of your age becomes your profession. Am I right, sir? So oh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> so for me, uh, and now I would like Suruchi ma'am, to just for a minute introduce the uh, school to Narain sir, and then we'll, we'll hand over the webinar to Narain sir. Students, uh, he will be talking about self-awareness to you. And if in between you have any questions, please don't hesitate. You know, for a speaker, when you know you ask questions, it's, it's very motivating. And he loves to answer. If we have a Q&A or in the chat, please ask for questions, teachers, students, anybody who has any question, please do ask. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Shikha, ma'am. Good, good. Uh, thank you, Shikha, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Good, good morning, Mr. Narain. As Shikha ma'am said that this morning here, uh, sir, we would, like, we would like to listen to your good points, your valuable 
uh, ideas and our all students would be really grateful to you after listening to you yes. sir, I welcome you thank here. you so much yes sir sir please without wasting much of your time i would request you to please start sir thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank you so much for inviting me it's my pleasure all teachers students um thank you so much so shika if if i may i'll share my slides now yes sir sure hmm. so welcome students i uh, and teachers i am very delighted to be able to talk to you about my experiences uh on uh, various different things uh as shika mentioned i uh and shika thank you so much for the such a kind um, uh, explanation and i think you really summarized my entire journey of my life well is i am a learner you know i love to learn and i love to learn from everyone and anyone if um, if possible so um what i'll do slightly differently today uh, is you know i'll let you read um, some of these things if you can see my slide about my education experience but maybe you know i'll while you're reading i'll just play you some flute because i'm really interested in uh, bringing all the uh, the science the uh, the 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 artistic elements and the commercial and the and the finance everything all of them together we should all be fully rounded so let's do this hmm. so um i think what i have enjoyed in my career is the ability to amalgamate all the different types of experiences i have and and express myself in different ways so um, uh i'll talk a little bit about what today what i'm going to talk about is this process of becoming aware uh, so your sound is little bit like uh, it's very uh, i can't hear you properly i think i've shared Okay I'm I can you hear me better now yes, sir. I'm no, I don't know better. If, definitely hmm. it's better So what I like to talk about is this process of becoming aware um today I will talk what is called what are called outliers and uh, and inflection points and um, and and I'll 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 uh, explain those to you in a minute So before we go into the specific topic what I like to uh, let us all do for ourselves there's so much going on in our lives to kya hota hai ki um hamare man mein jo chal raha hai wo bhi wo bhi vichar chal raha hai hamare city mein kuch chal raha hai country mein kuch chal raha hai duniya mein kuch chal raha hai sab ye ghoom rahe hamare all of these points are um you know confusing us in our brain so a process that i suggest uh, i do for myself and i also suggest everybody try it is keep writing down what is down in your head uh, so for example it's a, i made these circles in the center is you what is going on with you so for example for me um you know i have been involved a little bit with gardening with my daughter uh, i'm learning to cook <laughs> i've been cooking for now almost 6 months and i'm enjoying it um i'm reading some poems these are things i never did before uh and you know as an exercise routine there's a park over here and i go and dance with some of the people just as an exercise and i'm reading many more books um in the city i used to go to um, concerts but now they're all online um you know i was following a storm in bengal and the environment has become beautiful in the country of course other than lockdown and economy there are many things going on but we have to still think about those and in the country more than 25000 papers have been published on covid which i'm avidly reading so it's nice to um, separate all of these things in our mind become more of it today what i'll talk about are outliers and uh, i'll touch upon these four outliers and and why they are outliers and how can we become outliers in our own uh, world and society 
uh, I'll touch a little bit upon how what is an outlier, um, how uh, what causes an outlier, and how we can detect them, and maybe how we can become one. <clears throat> So if you if you think about what is an outlier in 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 um, statistics and um, in your algebra or, or or mathematics classes, you will learn what is called a normal distribution. Uh, so this is a this is a process that when we look at a large number of um, of things, anything that you take, like this is in this case, it's number of people in the world. Most of the people will will be will will fall in the average. Uh, and and then you have this distribution which is which has been mathematically defined and the ones on the out of the normal distribution both on the left as well as the right are called outliers now what are outliers outliers are men and women who achieve extraordinary success um, and to understand why people become outliers we must consider factors other than just talent uh, when and where they were raised, the culture in which they were raised, and the characteristics that cultivated them. Hmm? We all know the god of cricket, hmm, and we can list the many, many achievements that he has. Third youngest debutant, highest run scorer in the history of test cricket, highest number of test centuries, and the list goes on. We know we, we don't have to identify that he's an outlier. He, he's one of a kind. And um, so it's very easy for us to identify um, such. And why did he become an outlier? We'll explore that later. Priyanka Chopra. Um, again, um, you know, just ordinary, comes from an ordinary background from Delhi, but became an outlier, became an actress, a singer, film producer. I saw this amazing movie that she produced here. Uh, called Firebrand, I just saw it yesterday on Netflix. Uh, winner of the Miss Pageant Award, uh, Miss, Miss World 2000 Pageant, uh, National Filmfare Award, five uh, Filmfare Awards, and now an international star. Um, so success is actually predictable. Um, and really it is, the, it, is the, it is pretty simple um, because it is the most um, hardworking that succeed. We may not agree completely sometimes, but you know it is hard work that is required to become an outlier and succeed. For example, in school, uh, what Malcolm Gladwell has written in his book, Outliers, is that one of the most reliable predictors of students being good at mathematics is not, is not your understanding of mathematics, but just willingness to complete tasks carefully. Right? So if, if you do everything carefully, your mathematics will become good. So that's what he, he says, try it. Outliers take maximum advantage of opportunities available to them. And then finally, he talks about this concept called the 10,000 hour rule, in which he says that people who spend 10,000 hours doing anything will become the world's expert in that field, not just your not just the expert in the city or the country or anything, but become world experts in the thing, in the thing that they do. For example, Bill Gates. We, the main thing we've heard about Bill Gates, other than the fact that he's one of the richest men in the world and the founder of um, Microsoft, is that he dropped out of Harvard College, Harvard University. Uh, but wh what is the backstory behind that? When he was um, in high school, in 1968, uh, and his parents were um, um, were lawyers, and uh, and they they uh, they brought a computer in 1968 to his school and to the to the computer club. So he has been programming on the computer since 1968. Then in 1971 to 73, when he was in high school, he went to do programming in University of Seattle. In, uh, so, so when he was in high school, every day he used to practice f programming. And so by the time he was in, 90, in, in, um, in Harvard in 1978, he had already spent 10 years, which is, the, which is an equivalent of 10,000 hours uh, of doing programming, which is far more than anyone had ever programmed in the world. And so um, then he established Microsoft. And of course we know 
how he became an outlier. Um, that is one topic that I uh, covered out how to become an outlier. Now let's move on the outlier to another similar point topic called inflection point. So what is inflection point? Inflection point is a point in a curve where the shape of the curve changes. So if you can imagine this curve, if the red line was a straight line, then it would be a, just a linear curve. However, the, this is a red line which starts at the bottom. It, it curves and then something happens. This is the red dot, blue, or sorry, green dot. And then the shape of the curve changes and moves in a different direction. So let's look at an example of an inflection point. Hmm? Uh, some of you may know this, but you, know, you can imagine that there is a tissue culture flask. Some science students will understand. Also, all of you, it's very simple. There's a plastic bottle in which there is some media. The pink is the media in which you are trying to grow some cells. Okay. Um, so if, you, if you put some cells in this media, the cells will grow in this direction or, or with the x-axis on time and y-axis growth they will grow in this kind of curve, which is called a sigmoid curve. So they will grow for a little bit and then something will happen, which is your inflection point, And then they will start growing exponentially and then something else will happen and they will stop growing. So this is how the cell culture grows. So let's, let's evaluate why this happens. So when you have cells in a culture, which look like this on the picture, um, the nutrients are favorable, good nutrients, the cell density is low, the very few growth factors, the pH and the temperature, which is the environment in which these cells are growing is very good. There are no, inhibit no inhibitors, there are no space constraints, lots of space to grow. And you might have heard about meiosis, which is gene, not mitosis, which is, mm, allows the cells to grow faster or exponentially. That those are genetic factors. All of these factors will allow the cells to grow and then they will grow very nicely and they will grow um, fast. After some time, what happens is now they've grown all the way to the top of the curve, right? Then they stop growing. Why do they stop growing? Because nutrients are exhausted. Cell density is much higher now. Now they are secreting toxins the environment, the pH, the temperature, all of that has become bad. There are now inhibitors in the system. There are space constraints. And now instead of growth, the cells are dying. You know? So this shape of the curve is also your career shape. It is also in this sigmoid curve. All your achievements versus the time and effort that you put. So you start by aspiring what you want to do, then you start driving what you want to do. And then you arrive and see what happens um, when you arrive uh, at that success point. So let's evaluate a career growth curve. So just like the factors that were involved in the cells to grow well, there are factors that will, that will impact your inflection point in your own career. So for example, what things that are in your control is that you should do courageous things. You should have courage to do things. You should have discipline. You should have a positive attitude and you should have passion. You should make decisions well. You should learn how to make decisions well. You should communicate well. You should be truthful. And most importantly, you should be healthy, do exercise. All of these things you do and then your career will grow rapidly. If you see one thing that is not there on this list is study. There's no study in this list. There's no um, you know, work hard in this list because those points, they are not inflection points for an exponential curve. They, those points are for a linear curve. You must study. You must um, you know, play or, or do all the things that you do, right? That, those are the must. But beyond that, what do you have to do to change the life of your career is these things, okay? There are several things that are not in your control that are also important. For example, the environment you're in, like the school you're in, the, the, the advantages that you are because you're in this BCM school and the, and the resources that you have to uh, exploit them, right? The opportunities, you find your mentor, your teachers will help you. 
make efficient use of time uh, use your family and friends for your success and then luck there is luck sometimes luck helps so all of these factors create an inflection point which then ultimately lead to uh, exponential growth hmm? um, so this this is what an inflection point is so let me show uh, show you the last couple of slides and then we'll go to questions um what i uh, i'll show you how how yusuf uh, malala yusuf, yusuf zai is an outlier and also what her inflection point were so you know we know about her that she was shot in the head um, by a taliban terrorist and um, and because and we think that because of that she became uh, an activist and she became um, she got the nobel prize ultimately youngest uh, one of the youngest uh, persons to get a nobel prize but look at her journey she was born in 1997 uh, and in taliban in 2009 taliban had banned um, girls education in uh, in that in her region from 2009 to 2012 for almost 3 years more than 3 years um, malala actually was very active in the education business she she was playing an act she was very young in in school but she was playing a very active role to ensure that women and girls would get education so it was not randomly that she was shot she was not shot randomly she was singled out she was singled out and shot as she rode um home on a bus after taking the exam in pakistan's swat valley right she was only 15 years old at that time she recovered and she went back to her passion which was um, what she wanted to do and this and and now you know she's changing the world of of how women's education is is um, is, is seen in many parts of the world so she's an outlier she also has an inflection point which is the gunshot that she got but she utilized it to transform the world so these are the kind of inspirational um, stories that should inspire us in our own careers so in addition to the school having uh, education programs and everything else uh, i think the culture of a school is so important um, education and the cultural aspects is so important in the education process and uh, i'll stop here shikha and then maybe we can go to question and answers thank you so much uh, i would ask ruchi ma'am also to come so uh, it was so inspiring especially to know uh, you know uh, uh, you know what about bill gates you know 10000 hours that's really uh, that's something a uh, new for me so you know if you give that many hours so you can actually change so um, that's something very amazing i'm sure students would have also liked it so now students please feel free if you want to ask any questions we would really appreciate please ask your questions anything you want to ask so why don't you talk about uh, i would like to ask few questions till that time sure so my first question is like you are doing so many things so how do you inspire yourself to do so many things because i'm sure everybody is not uh, you know ready to do it so how do you keep yourself inspired all the time so that's a good question um i ask myself many times that question so um Uh, one way i like to do things is um, there are many ways i can do it i'll tell you two things that I, that come to mind one is um i i do small things i don't do i don't think of big things i am i'm not there to try to you know i'm i'm working on um, many aspects of, of drug drug discovery for example with many companies i'm working on helping or consulting with them to develop drugs for cancer for example right uh but i don't look at look at the fact that say i'm going to cure cancer that is a very large task right but what can i do tomorrow what can i do in one week in my, what experiment can i do in one week to get a, a small result so i keep doing small 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 things all the time right and when you do small 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 things all the time sometimes all of those things become big things oh yes so don't focus on the big thing first just keep doing your in small 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 tasks and then suddenly those things become big 
The second point is write down what you accomplish. So every Friday or Saturday for the last 25 years or more, uh, I have a notebook in which I actually write down seven things that I have done that week. Why seven? Because every day I do something that is very important. And I then I will write it down so that it feels a sense of accomplishment that you've done something every week, right? even the small thing. And, and you, I write anything. Like for example, if one day I just feel, felt so demotivated, I didn't want to do anything. I just slept the whole day, for example, right? On Friday, I will say on Wednesday, I slept the whole day. That is an accomplishment. Not easy to sleep the whole day. Hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, uh, just those two examples I can give. So good Very question. Good. Sir, Arjun wants to know, inflection point is not clear. Sir, can you explain it a little bit more? Of course, of course. Um, so Arjun, um, you know, uh, the inflection point, and you will, you can Google this word or Wikipedia this word, and you will see what it means. So what I, I'm going to draw on my, on the screen. So if I, if I draw a, a graph, which is the Y axis and the X axis on the screen, and if I just draw a 45 degree line, that will be called a linear curve because it's, mm, the, it's absolutely linear, straight line here, you know? But if I have to go on inflection point, the, um, the, the, the curve is first is flat, not, not very, then suddenly it moves up like that, right? That is, so when the curve changes the shape, the point um, at which the shape, the curve changes its shape is called the inflection point. So like I was saying in the cell culture, the cells grow for a small period of time, little bit, and then something happens, some genetic or environmental something happens, and suddenly the cells start growing very fast. Right? They don't double, they quadruple. or, or So that point is the inflection point. And when I mention in your career, if you want your career to move in an in a exponential curve, what are the things you have to do? And those are the things I listed. And if you want, I can list them later on again. Uh, the points that I made. But if I have to pick one of those things, I would say pick a mentor. Pick a mentor. And then your curve will change. Yeah. I would like to share here, you know, I was, um, there is a one, um, Reimagine India. So, you know, in this, uh, there's a, this is a, comp it's not a competition, I would say. But here, what is, what they do is that there are students who think that they want, and who are really motivated and inspired to do something for the country. So this girl, I don't remember her name, you know, when she attended this webinar, she got an idea that why, you know, water uh, conservation is very important. Normally we waste a lot of water. So she got an idea that why don't I start going to restaurants and there I talk to the people, the customers, that please don't allow them to fill your complete glass. Of, you know, we can save water there. So this girl, with such a, this was, I, I, I think why I'm telling you this is because the point, the inflection point, which uh, Narendra sh uh, was showing was that round green color is the spark, which can actually change. So for this girl attending that uh, webinar made her think differently and she got an idea and she worked on that idea for an year and today she is representing India in United Nations. There's some, you know, there. So only wow. for this reason that that idea, she worked. Consistency is very important, I feel. Normally, we get inspired and we start something. But after some time, we always forget. So, you know, but if you are consistent with what you are doing and you, you keep on doing, definitely that will make a change. And what I really liked, sir, was that do small, small things. Because uh, the success, the, you you feel happy. When, and it's easy to achieve small things. So, you know, when you, every day you're achieving those small things, a day will come when you will yourself feel very proud. that You have done, you have really achieved, you have really done a lot. So. Um, I, I, I'm reading one question while you were saying. Uh, yes. I, I really like this question very much. And uh, I, let me... Um, Jasmine is asking, I'm a brilliant, I'm brilliant in communication and discipline, but I'm not able to get very good marks in studies. What should I do? 
Oh. So uh, maybe Suruchi ma'am, maybe you can talk to her, uh, give, and <laughs> give an example and then I will also add to that. <laughs> yeah, sure, sir. Thanks a lot. Uh, my only add-on on this is that the student must concentrate on their work. Actually, students, they are having so many uh, uh, ideas in their mind. They are actually ambitious, but actually they don't get the right way, but which one to follow. The only thing is this, that the student or Jasmine also, she asked the question, just concentrate on one aim and work for that. That would be the best thing you can do, Jasmine. This is from my side. And sir, uh, I would like to ask you uh, this also for all other students because they are having the aims, but their aim uh, changes after some time. That uh, means, I mean to say that they are not able to finalize their aim at this stage also. Even in, uh, they are the senior students, but still they are not able to finalize that what to do uh, because there is some peer pressure also. They see the word also changing so fast. So please guide them on this way also that what should they do in this way? Yeah, that's a very good question. And, and it, yeah. it's a common problem for many people. And I think it, it also relates to a question that yeah. um, I think uh, Divjot Kaur has asked, sir, a question, what are yeah. you what are you doing now? And uh, what do you really want to do? So that problem is also for me, <laughs> right? I, I don't yeah. know. Now I'm doing what I'm doing, but I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is exactly what I want to do or should I do something different? So what happens today is that we have so many choices today. You know, engineer, make this, make that, make that, make artist, make that, musician, make that, film star, make that. There are so many options for succeeding, right? And we have to choose one or the other. We can't do all, right, at, at one point. So um, the way I have approached it, and um, there's, a, there's a process called decision making. And... Um, there's one of those videos I, um, Shikha can uh, direct you to those where I've talked a little bit about decision-making. I'll explain that to you in, in a few words. Um, the decision-making process, Johanna, it involves three parts. One is called D, A, and I. D stands for decision. A stands for advice, and I stands for inform. So during the decision-making process, you have to have two things. One is you have to find who the decider is, and, uh, and the second is you have to see um, uh, the question on which you have to make the decision is to be very clear. Okay? Then, you, the, then, the, then you have to spend time taking advice and, uh, and, and then get the advice. And then finally, you have to make the decision. So I'll show you how the process works in an example. And Shikha, we'll do this with you. Okay? Okay. So Shikha, I'm going to ask you this question. And now I'm asking you a decision question. I'm not making the decision. Okay. okay. So... Shikha, um, where did you buy this blue shirt you're wearing? Where did you buy it? From uh, Fab India. Fab India. Very easy to answer this question, no? It is a question, right? Um, now, um, so now um, we have to make a decision uh, on... Um, how, no, before we, before we make a decision, I'm showing you how to ask the question first, right? Um, Oh, how did you buy this shirt? Actually, uh, I was gifted, or this shirt was gifted to me by my sister on my birthday. Oh, wow. Fantastic, fantastic. And Shikha, uh, why are you wearing this blue shirt today? Because today uh, I was supposed to host a webinar with you. So I wanted to look nice and wear something good. And this is one of my favorite shirts. A lovely, lovely answers. <laughs> so, see, uh, students and teachers, you can see asking a question is not just ask a question, right? Depending on how you ask a question, you can get different answers. So, for example, first I ask, where did you buy this shirt? They're very easy to answer. So, where, what, where? If you ask what, where question, you are generally getting what is called information, right? Then um, if I ask a how question, she has to give me an answer a little bit more thoughtfully. Now I ask her, how, you, how did you buy the shirt? She has to think and give me the answer. And then if I ask a why question, she has to really think about it and tell me the answer. So, so making a question is not very easy. So um, Shikha, we are going to do something, um, uh, something else. Or oh, maybe we, we will do it with Suruchi ma'am here, right? 
So, Suruji, ma'am, you're, I believe you're sitting in your office or some room, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Huh. So, uh, let's decide whether to paint this room shocking pink. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, who who will decide? Who will decide whether to paint it shocking pink? Yeah, if uh, it's my room, the only I would decide it that you, uh, which color. You will decide. You will. Yes. You will decide. No. So yes, um, the question to ask is: Should you paint the room shocking pink? So now, uh, so this is the decision question. Okay. So Shikha and I will give you advice on whether to paint the room pink or not. So Shikha, please give her advice on whether yeah. she should paint the room pink. See, I uh, I like pink color. and uh, my personal choice is pink color so i would really uh, give you advice get it pink and as it's a, it's a very subtle color so it's not it should not be very bright because maybe in summers we would like that but a uh, light pink is uh, good 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 okay and i will tell you uh, uh, don't paint it please don't paint it pink <laughs> okay now, now the decision is done which is you are the decider and the question is clear should we paint the room pink we have given yeah. you advice right oh, yes. there's never unlimited time to get advice there's only limited time to get advice every time now you've got yes. the advice and the last thing you have to do is now you have to inform us of the decision right so now i'm going to ask you the question uh, should you paint this room pink see pink is a nice color but uh, not every time it would suit to uh, my situation and my liking so it's it's no. a good suggestion thanks a lot but, everyone but but uh, but i no. would like no mm, not to paint it pink okay very yeah, good very yeah. good so so see this is a this is a decision making process which becomes very clear if you have to make a decision then you have to know what question you have to ask you have to get the advice and then finally make the decision right so how did we go i asked the what is the question should we paint the room pink right and that was the decision question and now the mm -hmm. why is that question very good because it is only yes no answer it, it is not if l l so should i paint the room usme do hi answer hai yes or no yes or no i say yes you have a very precise question theek hai uske baad um the you have to inform everybody what the decision is so you made the decision and you said that not to paint the room pink now i'll ask you this last question suruchi uh, yes. do you think the decision was good yes i think because it satisfy my uh, requirements and mm. i like it so i think it's a good decision mm. i am the president of breast cancer association of india theek hai after you have made the decision not to paint the room pink i come to your office and i say hmm, if only suruchi's office was shocking pink color i would have given her 100 crore rupees <laughs> now was the decision good <laughs> <laughs> not that no. definitely not so what this no. <laughs> means what this means is doesn't yeah. matter what decision you make doesn't matter what decision you make whether you go which school you are going to which college you are going to everything you doesn't matter what it is um, every decision that you make is partially wrong because you don't have the information yes. later exactly. the information exactly. that will come later you will never have right exactly so don't get paranoid about making a decision just make mm. it and go forward chote 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 karte raho kaam right so this way exactly. the decision making process should not paralyze you because every exactly. decision you make is partially right and partially wrong so um agar aapko engineering karna hai aur aap soch rahe ho ki medicine karna chahiye don't worry about it just make the decision go forward baad mein hi pata chalega ki theek tha ki nahi and exactly. baad mein change kar sakte ho aap decision aisa kuch nahi hai yeah, so i i believe in one of the webinars in which the rain sir shared was so many known people who have changed their professional you know yes. careers only they were by profession they were doing uh, you know in starting they were doing something else but now they i think there's an arinsa's friend i believe he's a neurosurgeon by profession yes. am i right sir yes 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 so now yes. he is totally doing something different so it doesn't yeah. uh, that is the point that it is not that if you have taken a decision that you have to be doctor all of your life you have to be a doctor your decisions definitely can change a new education policy 
what government is now talking is all about this so it is now in india also students they will get the opportunity to change and i would like to hear mention that what the new education policy is talking today it was out of that almost lot of things were already implemented in chulni university so you know there we were actually so what is important is i believe sir if uh, atul sir would have been here he would have said students just look for great university look for a university where you you will be happy you know going and any i i believe it's not for university it's for school also if the environment is like this that you get an opportunity to learn more so definitely it will be very good for you so look for place where you get this kind of an environment so there are, there is another question which is very interesting how to improve learning again i believe you have already answered that every day learn one new thing and that will make a difference but sir i would like you to answer i will give you an example i will give you an example and and since i have my flute near me i will uh, i will show you how to improve learning so sometimes what happens is uh, you don't know what you don't know so if if you don't know what you don't know then you can't isliye guru aur teacher ki bahut zarurat hoti hai because they will tell you or your mentor they'll tell you what you have to learn so i'll play one song for you and i'll show you it, it, you will recognize this song oh, i was really impressed that everybody recognized lagja gale because itna purana yes. gana hai bachchon ko sabko pata hai that's great i'll i'll tell you which song i'm playing so that there's no confusion ek kishor kumar ka bahut purana gana hai uh, rim jhim gire savan oh yaad karna padega song which which actually i'll tell you a little bit technically about the flute so if you look at the flute it you either play the song you have to close the hole and open the hole like this right you op, you you close the hole and you open the hole uh, as yes swar nikalta hai right so if i play the song <laughs> you can you can hear that sound right lekin for for rimjim gire savan that swar that i have to make is half i have to open half the hole to get that sound right so how do you open half the hole so how to open half a hole a teacher has to teach you you will never learn yourself right so um so you ask how to learn how to learn you can learn a lot of things yourself but you it's always good to learn from somebody who already knows so why reinvent the wheel so uh, my teacher aditya sutar who actually is a very good teacher in sangli he teaches me online and we, he teaches me how to play this um, the flute so that's an example of how to learn yes sir sir pearl uh, pearl is asking how can an introvert person be succeed yeah so uh, it's good very good question for simple pearl if you are an introvert and you ask the question that is fantastic that you actually got you know had the opportunity to ask the question very nice well done um asking questions is half your uh, challenge um you know so how does an introvert um, become successful you know just look at google I mean, if you think of bill gates himself he himself is an introvert right he you would consider he's not he didn't start off like a you know richest man in the world etc etc um so a lot of introverts are um are, are successful and introvert and extrovert there's no there's it's not it's not a good and bad thing it is just different some people like to um you know be introvert and some people like to be extra, extrovertish i'll tell you what the what the real meaning of introvert and extrovert is in my in my opinion uh, and there is some 
literature on this also. I will tell you about that later. So what an intro, it's not like people introverts are quiet and uh, extroverts are loud. That's, it's not that because there are, you can have loud introverts and you can have quiet extroverts also, right? So what introvert means when when we all do work, no? Just like if we are working or studying, right? And we want to regain our energy. We want to regain, we want to get refreshed. We want to do something really to get refreshed. So, and what an, what an extrovert will do at the end, after, after a very busy day, after a very busy day, after the busy day, in order to get refreshed, typically an extrovert will go to a friend's another party. They will go and they will go to a party and enjoy themselves in the party with meeting hundred other people and, you know, interacting with all the people. And when they do that, they get energized for the next day. Right? An introvert, after a full busy day work, will never go to a party. They will go home and akele betting. And that's how they regain their energy. That is the difference between introvert and extrovert. How to regain your energy after you have that is the introvert extrovert description. That's my understanding. Yes. So, so don't worry about being an introvert. Introverts are very important in the community, society. They are thinkers. They're deep thinkers. They don't speak. You, are, I'm sure this uh, relates to you. You don't, you don't just say what is in your mind. You actually think and then say very, very good, good aptitude. But think about what I told you about regaining energy. Okay. Then Rohini ma'am wants to ask how being a teacher, we can inspire our students to be self-disciplined. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For this, you know, I think I what I personally feel is if we are self-disciplined ourselves, our students will definitely learn. So, you know, if we are on time and because I feel, uh, you know, when we, the kids learn more when they look at us. So, you know, that's a, uh, I would, uh, for me, it is like if I am self-disciplined, definitely my students, my own kids will be self-disciplined. But if I don't follow self-discipline in my own life, then it, it becomes very difficult for me to teach to my students. So that's my sir now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think I think self-discipline is a, is a characteristic that is inbuilt. Everybody should do, should, should get disciplined themselves. It is, it is a self, um, self thing. You have to I think at the be... students, I feel students, they learn a lot from their parents also. If, yeah, they, yeah. if this becomes a kind of a characteristic of their family, if their parents are, definitely they will be. So, you know, yeah. uh, this goes with, uh, again, it goes as a personal thing that what they, their parents are making them learn. So, you know, uh, many times when I used to talk to parents and they would say, Ki, ji, bacha 12th mein ho gaya, madam padta nahi hai, ye nahi karta. So, mainne, to, I would always ask, Aap kya karte ho? you are making the child sit in another room and study and you are watching TV or you're talking to somebody very loudly on mobile. So how can you, you know, you have to create that kind of an environment for a child to study or to do things. So I feel this can, uh, if their family, if the parents, if you yourself are self-disciplined, definitely the kids will learn that. So, so we have next question is, how to keep pace with fast changing world? What are preparations I need to make in life to enjoy my run with the world? This is Nidhi is asking. Okay. Very nice Nidhi, question. Yeah, uh, Nidhi. Um, yeah, um, maybe I'll add another um, uh, Aditya Shah's question also, which is all related. How can present youth meet the requirements of the future, like skill set, and to be updated? So, so Nidhi and Aditya, uh, I think a um, couple of things that I think are very useful. In addition to your studies and everything that you do, you should carve out some time to read other things outside the school school work also like keep reading the newspaper follow the news i'm not saying do just see whatever interests you read you know go to the library see you know there are magazines like the national geographic or uh, other magazines um, popular science for example um, there are art magazines uh, take a look at those see what's happening around the world and and remember i showed you that um, the four chart you 
what is happening to you what is happening in your city what is happening in the country and what is happening in the world make these charts every, every so often every every month or every 2 3 months make this chart for yourself in your notebook right this this allows you to constantly keep in touch with what is happening around you and what is affecting you around the world and it is those little little things that keep that that keep you interested that will allow you to uh, gain your uh, knowledge over time uh, and there's no one size fits all it is like if if someone else likes something else um, doesn't mean you have to like that you you have your own um, uh, way to learn things so take whatever you like and make a list of those things my whole philosophy in all of these all of the awareness processes i'm telling you i'm telling you from my own experience is i like to write a lot of things i just write them down because keeping it in your brain you forget right but if you write it down that thought process is put on paper yeah. gurseerat is asking some it's a very interesting question sometimes we work so hard to achieve our dreams but at the end we don't achieve that because of our luck what is the use of our efforts excellent question <laughs> <laughs> yeah no no uh, this is a very very good question what what is the name of the person uh, gurseerat gurseerat very good question um, you know i think failures are a part of our lives you know this is something that we have to live with and you know we always learn more from our failures than from our successes you know sometimes we feel like we pay if if we fail in certain things that we do then we say okay why we analyze it so much more when we succeed we don't say oh kyun kyun hum log succeed hue nahi wo hum log zyada to sochte nahi hai ho gaya right lekin if fail hue to hum log bahut soch vichar karte hain ki bhaiya ye kyun hua right hmm. so the failures allow you to learn more about yourself and the processes that you are doing um, but that doesn't mean that you know you have to fail all the time you have to succeed but ultimately it is also a journey uh, and and um, and lot of people you know a uh, lot of successful people will tell you that they have not come they have not become successful because suddenly magically they become successful they have gone through a lot of ups and downs and failures and successes yes. we only see the end game end point right but their journey has been very very most people's journey is not straight line it is very very difficult up and down so, and i feel sometimes those inflection point that circle is yeah. your one of your failures because from you learn failures yes from your failures is what you learn absolutely shikha uh, so sir uh, raghav wants to ask mohit raghav what to do in difficult demotivated times to keep our progress continue wow a very insightful question students um the so motivation is something that um you know unfortunately you have to try to get yourself it is not something that can anyone can no one can force you to be motivated or demotivated but kabhi kabhi kya hota kya hota in the circumstances that you are in kuch ho gaya you know you feel very down um but uh, that's where your mentor helps you know knowing someone your parents your uh, friends your 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 good friends um they have to observe you right it's suppose tumhara koi dost dukhi hai kuch kisi kisi karan you know whatever um the reason and that doesn't feel uh, up to the mark or feels down right um as a friend as a uh, as a teacher as a um you know parent or whatever you know it is your responsibility to ensure that the, your friend is is happy so you also have to be very aware that bichara mera friend hai wo dukhi hai main main usko kuch madad kar dun you know to so, uh, so you have to be you have to make friends you have to have friends be friends with people who are who care about you and who care about society so when everybody cares for each other then um, you know it makes a big difference the reason i'm giving you this kind of an answer is i know for myself and i'm shikha maybe shikha and suruti you can also add to this when you are down right there's actually very little you can do for yourself it is just not it's just not practical because if all the systems shut down everything shuts down and and you have to be like a almost like a superhuman to be to get out of it sometimes yourself so you need help from outside and that's when your network your friends and everybody should be able to help you so so maybe shikha or suruj if you want to add yeah. to that so but we have lots of questions so let's move fast So okay. <laughs> another is coming from Saloni. Every time I decide to do something, 
I do it for three days or four, not more than this. How can I get consistency in doing that? So should I answer this? Please go ahead. Okay. Please. So I believe Saloni, what sir had already told was do little things. Okay. And I personally feel that when you do little things, there is achievement, which is there. So, you know, set a goal for yourself for a day. And by the end of the day, when you achieve goal, that inspires you, motivate you to set another goal for tomorrow. So I feel that take those small, small steps. And when you start taking those small steps, then start thinking of bigger goals. So that's my take for this question. Wow. <laughs> Sir, next is we have is Arjun. Oh, no, he says it was it's a thank you so much for this webinar. How to be consistent? Oh wow. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, you know, I think um, uh, this is this is where that normal distribution curve comes in, right? You know, yes. if, if, if we look at if we look at ourselves, right? I cannot be motivated at that highest level every day. You know, it's, it's, it's not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm human, right? So I, all the experiences that I have influence my behavior, right? If you know, automatically you feel a dull, right? In the US, 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 makes you feel good right so how the environment affects you is is, is different depends on your own um, circumstances so um, you know I think I think these are the kind of things that um, you have to pay attention to and be aware of uh, to, to to make progress uh, in your career but Maybe Shikha or Suruchi, you want to add a little bit more to what I said? Uh, yes, we'll just move definitely, there's definitely. so many questions. So Nikki wow. is asking, I'm, I am good in speaking, but I'm afraid to speak in public. Okay. All right. Um, that's a uh, very uh, good question. And, um, and Nikhil, um, so, you know, um, let's say I go, I ask you to go to a gym. gym. Uh, and I tell you, uh, when you go to the gym, uh, please uh, pick up that 150 or 200 kilogram weight immediately. Abhi. Just pick it up now. Will you be able to do it? Almost 100% not. No. Hey na? Yeah. Right? But you can go to the gym and if I tell you, Wo kilo ka utha lo, right? you will be able to lift the 10 to 5 kilo weight. Right? Two days later, you can fit the, or not two days, several months later, you may be able to pick up 10 kilos, right? Then after a couple of months, you will be able to pick up 50 kilos. 10 years later or five years later, you will be able to pick up that 200 kilo weight. Anna? Similarly for public speaking, don't go and start public speaking first on the stage and start, you know, giving gyan to people on the stage on the first day, right? You don't have to do public speaking first day. Chote chote speech de do. Give, give, give your parents, parents ko suna do, bhai bhaen ko suna do, koi speech. Exactly. Right? Apne dosto ko suna do. Chote chote speeches. Panch panch minute ke speeches suna do. Chote 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 no need to speak in front of anyone at the starting. Just do practice for a week in front of a mirror and definitely yeah. you are going to get that confidence that you can speak in front of the whole world. Just have Kya a self-confidence. Just have a self-confidence and the students, you can do anything in this world. Nothing is impossible. Yes. So just Kya have that confidence. I believe, uh, Suruchi, if you remember uh, Professor Atul Khosla's webinar, which was done, uh, uh, I think, uh, a month, yes, uh, month yes. back, so you know yes, he uh, he you have listened to him. He's a good good orator now. But yes, you know sir. there was a time when he was not able to speak. So what he did was practice, practice, practice and in front practice. of him. Exactly. I believe right. it, it is uh, it is for I believe when I and Narain sir we started doing the webinars. So you know the first webinar it was I I uh, you know when you start doing webinar because it was something new for us. You know you're talking to your screen, even for teachers. So it was so difficult, but now because we're doing yes, it exactly. every day, so there's a lot of improvement which has happened. 
that is again practice 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 and you will definitely succeed in this so now uh, uh, so we have is shreya is asking how can we concentrate and spend 10 hours on, on our passion and when we have a lot of work to do at a time because sachin tendulkar bill gate they drop out they are drop out they work for their passion <laughs> but it is very difficult to convince our parents excellent question <laughs> something that is really good even i would like to ask listen the answer <laughs> yeah we have some answer nahi hai bhaiya well i'm i'm not like a, uh, i don't have answers for everything some Actually, answers this you... is uh, <laughs> so this answers... is the problem which i am facing as a mother also my son used to say i uh, give example of uh, elon musk and bill gates and everyone and every now and then means i can tell you sir uh, last 10 days he has changed his aim many a time so i don't understand what to do and how so to it's tackle okay it now. i yeah. feel i feel struchi that is so okay it doesn't make a difference yeah. i feel as a parent as a teacher we need to give the students the freedom today we all talk about passion we talk about yes i i have given the freedom and he, uh, the students are free to do but um, but randomly changes itna fast changes aate hain thoughts mein to sometimes i am not able to manage it and i am not able to guide him what to do or not so this is a problem i feel, that I, I feel the problem is uh, narin sir is with the parents isn't it because yeah. sometimes it happens that you have your yeah. own dream that you wanted to be a doctor or you wanted to be an engineer you're not able to become that so that dream is passed to their kids their their own kids <laughs> yeah. so you know so what happens is that i have seen that many, many times uh, when you talk to a child i i am psychologist by profession so when you talk to a child what he wants to become is totally different from what parents want to and so here the conflict comes बट आई पर्सनली फील की अगर वो आपका पैशन है ना तो कुछ भी हो जाए आप डेफिनेटली अपने आप अचीव कर लोगे आप जाकर देखो आज की डेट पे देर सो मेनी शेफ हुव नॉट लर्न कलनरी इन एनी ऑफ दी स्कूल यू टॉक टू दैम दिस आई एम एन इंजीनियर बाई प्रोफेशन बट दे आर रनिंग बिजनेस दे टोटली डिफरेंट इट्स जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ देर पैशन सो यू नो देर इज अ टाइम don't allow your passion to be finished that is what is important so there will be time if you if your passion is alive 110% in your life you will definitely move towards it. that's my yeah. take on it yeah, uh, yeah. exactly then sir you would like to add something no i think you guys have really added so yeah. much very good <laughs> so now we have a smiley verma sir i always work hard but i never score for which i work hard sir i also wanted to become an artist like you oh wow <laughs> see i yeah i th- i think um, um, the what what i like to do and 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 uh, you have to do every they have 24 hours of a day right jab bhi jo bhi jab bhi jo bhi karo man laga ke karo right so for example agar mujhe art koi art banana hai right so what i will do is um for that hour that i'm doing art na main aur kuch nahi soch raha hu sirf wo art bana raha hu us us time main nahi sochta hu ki mujhe wo wo shulini ka ye um webinar karna hai ya iske baad mein kaun si meeting hai ya uske baad mujhe khana banana hai ya uska ye karna hai wo karna hai i'm not thinking about all of that when i'm doing my art i'm just making my art wo ek ghanta main pura focus karke ek ghanta art bana raha hu एक बार वो वो बना लिया जो भी करना है उस दिन द नेक्स्ट आवर आई एम डूइंग समथिंग कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट राइट व्हेन आई एम डूइंग दैट समथिंग कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट देन आई एम नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट आर्ट यस देन आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट द थिंग दैट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी जो अपने सामने है वो पूरा मन लगा के करो तो उसका बेनिफिट भी yes. बहुत ज्यादा होता है एंड आई वांट टू ऐड वन मोर थिंग हियर सर इज अ स्माइली क्वेश्चन Uh, she uh, means the students they need to con- make some long term plans also plans in the same way means they uh, have to set their goal few months back or uh, within uh, give some time also to their aim to achieve so this is also required means not a uh, just you think and everything will be happen it is not like that so if they want to achieve something then from the very beginning or from the uh starting they have to plan uh, for that thing on yeah, and yeah. They, it will be easier for uh, them to achieve then so, right right 
so I think we are coming to an end. We've already crossed, uh, you know, one hour. So, sir, I would really like here. Abhiraj is making a statement. Hmm. If I would be a grandson of Narain, sir, then I would ask him to play flute for whole day. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So kind. So Sharma. kind. Nidhi Sharma is saying, good evening, sir. I really like the way you make us understand the importance of making decisions and the way you introduce the concept. But being a teacher, I really find hard to make students think, dream, and critically evaluate. Wow. How can I motivate the students to think differently and the decision independently? I think, sir, this will be the last question we'll take because we're already moving, uh, you know, there's less of time left with us. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I think it's a very good question. I, um, there are many ways we can answer this question. I don't have all the answers. I think most of the things I, I try to do in this seminar, in this seminar, for example, is to help you to try to, a process to think for yourself. That, that chart that I told you to make, you, city, uh, country, and that is a process to how to think, right? We have a lot of things in our mind going on. Likhte rao, Right? Mere notebook mein hajaron cheez likhe hote hain. Right? So keep mm -hmm. writing things down. Keep drawing. Jo apne man mein hai, keep drawing things down. So, um, so I would say, you know, how do you, how do you dream? You, 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 you don't dream. You dream in many different ways, right? Um, you, sometimes, sometimes you have, you have to draw your dreams. So today, what, for example, uh, Smiley, you were saying about art, right? Kaise karte ho art? So I've made so many pieces of art, like hundred pieces of art in the last, you know, three months. Wow, but it's it's sitting right here next to me, and today I'm going to try something very different. Kya kya ki maine wo jo sticky paper aata hai na blue color ka sticky paper wo cello tape. So I'm I'm going to do that, and then uh, I've decided that I'm color karunga ye sab, and then I will remove the sticky paper. And so when I remove the sticky paper, then uh, the negative art will come out. So I'm just trying something different, hai na? Yeah, it's wonderful, so, uh, sir. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I've seen someone on YouTube like this. So, I'm trying to do that. So, now, if, if I do that, then uh, it will it will look like a negative image of a picture. So, yeah, I've removed the sticky paper. Nikal diya. Right? So, this this will become an art which is like a different way of doing things. So, kuch yeah, na kuch, kuch yeah. na kuch karte rao. And I would like to add here, sir, that this new education policy must uh, help. This, uh, it, it is really going to be very helpful for the students, those who are having the different skills. Uh, so, uh, Nidhi, ma'am, uh, you can also uh, have the same idea, I think, that this new education policy will definitely give the students the chance to uh, enhance their skills. So, I, we are requesting, uh, we are taking this last question because we are already, there's so many questions, but this will be definitely be the last one. Ma'am, I want to become famous, becoming film star, celebrity. So, please give me some suggestion regarding this, that how can I, how can I be able to pursue my goal, become a famous personality? So, <laughs> <laughs> to become uh -huh. famous, I believe what I feel is that, again, First, try to achieve small, small, small goals. And if you're able to achieve those small goals, I'm 100% sure you will become famous one day. But do not just set of becoming a film star. Pehle aapko theater mein, school ke theater mein, thodi, thodi chodi jagao pe performance karo and win karo. So this will give you more confidence and, and this will be your ladder going upwards. So do those small roles be a good, whenever you have some debate competition in your school, participate there, win there, in the theater uh, do, and then go to your inter-school competitions. When you go to a college, look for a college where all these uh, cultural activities are there, and I'm sure you will be able to achieve that. Yeah. So that was my take for this. Sir, one, one student is asking, his name is not there. Please ask, sir, what is he writing side by side? Were you writing something, sir? <laughs> Look at their observation. <laughs> so, you know, I'm writing think... what you, what, what all of you are saying. You know, all your notes, what you have said. Wow. See. <laughs> Everything that you have said. Because, you know, I will not remember what all you said. Right? So, I've written over here. Uh, public speaking, inflection points, decision making, concentration on passion, luck, uh, brilliant in communication, good marks, learner. I've written all of these words, right? Yes. When I look at this notebook two years from now, I will remember this class. Okay. Now, I think we are coming to the end. 
first of all there were a lot of students who were chatting and a lot of students were asking me ma'am please remove them or so but i would really like to say here what i and nareen are taking back is the questions which the other students have asked maybe we have few students who were disturbing it doesn't matter what we all need to think is the enjoyment the others are having we, i i feel today the questions you kids have asked that was that made us you know we were supposed to do this webinar only for 40 minutes but because of the questions and your you know your engagement made you know we have we have just crossed one hour so that matters a lot rather than what is disturbing that should not bother that's a, so exactly. for us it is what i and rain is taking back is like you know the engagement the kids the students what you were asking were wonderful questions and i hope we were able to answer to our best we have done that but in case you have any queries anything you want to talk to sir switchy ma'am has my number and ma'am please we can definitely uh, she, we can share those questions yeah. with the rain sir and the rain sir will make sure that he answers those questions yes. and it was really very nice Uh, webinar i really enjoyed a lot and i'm yes, sure narin sir uh, your last words yeah i think follow your passion follow your passion and you know make decisions don't be worried about the consequences just make decisions go forward yes yeah. so my way is also the last uh, words to students will be practice 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 do what you want to do and stay and do just do that definitely there will be lots of hindrances there will be lot of hurdles there but so what everything will come once you have you have to cross those hurdles and move forward sruti ma'am and from my side also that believe in yourself then nobody can stop you if you Absolutely. trust yourself believe in yourself so i really here want to appreciate the students who really participated in a good way in spite of few disturbances also but uh, still i would appreciate the students those who are really taking good points from the rain sir and sir i am really thankful to you and it was pleasure listening to you all so i have taken so many points and uh, definitely students and teachers also they have taken the values and the ideas of you thank you so much sir it's thank really great i am really much. grateful thank you, thank thank you, you so much for arranging all this thank you so much sir. thank you thank you thank you, bye -bye. Thank you everybody bye -bye. okay bye -bye. thanks a lot everyone bye -bye.